For most of its history, Linux carried a very particular reputation. It was the operating system created by developers. For developers, a platform that attracted coders, system administrators, engineers, and IT professionals who valued control, stability, and performance above all else. It was the system for those who wanted to understand every layer of their computer, from the kernel to the command line. But for the average user, Linux often felt distant, intimidating, and unpolished. It was admired for its power, but criticized for its lack of visual appeal. For years, Windows and macOS dominated the consumer market with their sleek designs, vibrant animations, and user-friendly interfaces. While Linux remained functional, efficient, and, frankly, plain. It was never designed to impress you at first glance. It was designed to perform. However, that perception is changing faster than ever before. In 2025, Linux has entered a completely new era. It's no longer just about freedom, performance, and control. It's about beauty, usability, and experience. The Linux desktop has evolved from a tool for power users into an ecosystem that competes directly with the bestest in systems in the world. From the minimalist calm of GNOME to the futuristic and customizable KDE Plasma and the brand new cosmic desktop environment being developed by System76, Linux today is not only powerful but visually stunning. The open source community has proven that design and performance don't have to exist on opposite ends of the spectrum. Let's start with GNOME 47, which represents the very essence of modern design in the open source world. The moment you boot into a GNOME desktop, you feel an immediate sense of calm and consistency. The animations flow smoothly from one action to the next. Transitions are soft and natural, and the adaptive interface automatically adjusts to any screen size. Whether you're on a tablet, laptop, or ultra-wide monitor, the experience feels cohesive. The icons, colors, and window shapes all follow a unified design philosophy that values simplicity over clutter. GNOME 47 feels minimal, elegant, and efficient without sacrificing the flexibility Linux users love. It shows that open source design can be every bit as refined and sophisticated as anything built behind the closed doors of Apple or Microsoft. On the other end of the spectrum, KDE Plasma 6 offers a different flavor of beauty dynamic, colorful and endlessly customizable. Built on the latest Qt framework, Plasma 6 delivers jaw-dropping visuals combined with exceptional speed. It's fast, responsive, and fluid, even on older or mid-range hardware. The transparency effects, blurred backgrounds, and animated panels all contribute to an experience that feels alive, yet never heavy. KDE has always been about giving users control, and this version takes that philosophy to its peak. You can tweak every single element, from the behavior of windows to the look of icons, until your desktop reflects your personality perfectly. It's a playground for creativity, proof that Linux can deliver both performance and beauty without compromise. Then there's Cosmic S System 76's ambitious project that's redefining what a Linux desktop can be. Unlike many desktop environments that are layered on top of existing frameworks, Cosmic is being built entirely in Rust, a programming language known for safety, security, and efficiency. This isn't just another skin over Linux. It's a completely new approach, designed from the ground up to feel cohesive, professional, and future. Every movement on screen feels deliberate. The interface is clean and refined, the animations are smooth and meaningful, and the integration between hardware and software feels seamless. Cosmic represents a shift toward a Linux experience that's unified, elegant, and yet fully customizable. It bridges the gap between power users and beginners, offering a design that's approachable without sacrificing control. But this evolution isn't just about how Linux looks, it's about how it feels to use. In the past, customization required hours of command line work tweaking configuration files, and reading forum posts. Today, everything is graphical. You can change themes, layouts, gestures, and icons with just a few clicks. Most popular Linux distributions now come with built-in customization tools that allow anyone, even complete beginners, to personalize their systems effortlessly. Linux has become accessible to everyone, no longer limited to the technically inclined. The interface is friendlier, and the experience is smoother from the first boot. Hardware manufacturers have also taken notice of this transformation. Companies like Framework, Tuxedo, and Slimbook are producing laptops specifically designed for Linux. These aren't the bulky, generic machines of the past. They're sleek, premium, and purpose-built to deliver a seamless Linux experience. Many of them come with GNOME, KDE, or Cosmic pre-installed, 
providing users with a perfectly integrated out-of-box setup. These laptops rival MacBooks and Dell XPS models in both design and performance, but with one crucial difference, they're built around open source principles. You get high quality hardware that respects your freedom, your privacy, and your right to customize. These machines aren't just for developers anymore. Therefore, creators, students, professionals, and anyone who wants a system that feels personal and empowering. What makes this new chapter in Linux history even more fascinating is the philosophy behind it. While Windows and Mac OS evolve under corporate secrecy, Linux develops in the open. Every design decision, every line of code, every animation is the result of collaboration between thousands of passionate contributors from around the world. Designers, developers, and artists share their ideas freely through platforms like Fl Gnome Circle and KDE Gear. Improvements are discussed publicly, feedback is welcomed, and progress is transparent. There are no marketing campaigns or corporate design committees dictating aesthetics, just people driven by creativity and passion. It's designed without borders, created not for profit but for purpose. The results speak for themselves. Modern Linux desktops are not just beautiful, they're thoughtful. Colors are carefully chosen for visual comfort. Animations are designed to guide attention, not distract it. Accessibility features are deeply integrated ensuring that everyone can enjoy the experience regardless of ability. Linux is no longer copying the commercial giants, it's defining its own style. It's a design language that's authentic, human, and open. The system feels honest. It respects your freedom, your privacy, and your time. Perhaps the most impressive transformation is how beginner-friendly Linux has become. Distributions like Fedora, Pop, underscore, OS. And Zorin OS have reached a level of refinement that would VA seemed impossible a few years ago. A first time user can now install Linux and start working immediately without ever touching a terminal or typing a single command. Software centers are clean and intuitive. Updates are automated. And driver installations happen seamlessly in the background. Everything just works. And it works beautifully. The myth that Linux is only for developers is finally fading. The new generation of users will grow up seeing Linux not as the alternative, but as the standard. They won't need to understand kernels or configuration files to appreciate the experience. They'll simply enjoy a fast, private, and elegant operating system that gives them control over their own digital world. This is the future of computing, open, transparent, and collaborative. So the next time someone says that Linux looks outdated, so them what 2025 really looks like, show them GNOMES, modern animations, KD's fluid transparency, and COSMIC's futuristic interface. Show them that Linux has evolved into something beautiful, something that reflects the passion and creativity of a global community. The future of desktop computing isn't hidden behind a paywall or locked inside a proprietary license. It's open, it's free, and it's already here. Linux is no longer just an operating system. It is a movement a vision of what technology can become when people work together not for money, but for progress. It's elegant, it's efficient, and it's ours.